Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. What's up, yeah, we're Summer from Fasteners on Black Nation TV. We're in downtown Jersey with the collaboration of Dope Saw and Strike Made Headway. Let's go inside and check out the local designers, supporters of local brands, collaboration models. Let's have it. <laughs> Since we started Strat Mate, it's been the guy we've been working with for three years. Right? And I love it, dude. Buffalo, this one. Yeah. This is the sheep skin. Yeah, these sheep skin, that one is different skin. Oh, My issue with the whites is on a reversible like hat. Yeah, when this gets dirty, it's gonna look gross. And it's not your it's head. gonna be people's head sweats. It's not a head, though. They're wearing they're wearing white. But they want the hats. They want the white hats. They're wearing white. Uh, concept started about, let's say, original idea was about 10 years ago. I started off with um, like a skateboarding brand. I uh, quickly developed that into like a full brand and I was looking for cool stores to stock my products but at the time I couldn't really find like stores that I think would represent my products in the best way like cool culture store there wasn't like a like a concept store idea back then so after some time I was like okay cool uh, what do I do I actually want to get my own store and then but I didn't have experience or anything to do with retail, so I decided to drop everything and move to England and work in retail, just to learn how everything operates, how basically the understanding of retail. Uh, this is Scotch is Dope, and you are watching Black Nation TV. So the name Stratmate, where does it originate from? How did you guys get that name? basically looking at the history of the sport, basically, you know, it's something that originates from back in the days since since back so far town days I think you know and in the Gassi in the verbs like you're always wearing sport you you're kind of rebelling against the system or you're trying to hide your face like in clubs you get people trying to get you to take off your hat when you're wearing sport and stuff like that so it's struck me it was for me it's like you kind of went with the whole style of the hat and the guys who originated wearing it, like originally wore it back in the days, like it's that me, it's always like suspect, those kind of vibes. So just, the guy like, on the street. Yeah, guy on the street basically, you know. Hey, what's up? You have a song from Black Nation TV, hashtag Fasteners, and I'm here with? Pussy. Pussy, yeah. Fred. So let's start with the love of fashion. Where did the love of fashion start with you guys? Well, I love clothes. I'm a shopaholic. I love streetwear. So when I got to Joburg from East London, it was something I really loved. And I saw everyone like dressed all cool, Joburg swag. So I was like, actually, that's for me. So I became friends with Scotch, saw his line, loved it. And I was like, actually, that's where I want to be. Well, for me, man, it goes a long way. It's just like... Uh, well from like the skating culture because I come from the skateboarding background and everything so it's like it goes in and then with street and obviously when I got here like the homies scotch and then we're doing it big you know what I mean and then I just jumped on that way and like yeah it's just that and also just like I like this range it's really cool so I mean yeah man for me it's that it's just like the culture thing <laughs> So tell me, what do you guys think about the collaboration between Dope Store and Strike Made Headway? Oh, um, I don't wear baggy hats, I don't wear hats at all. But um, these hats are yeah. really cool. They're not too much. It's yeah. not about like too much like swag and like colour. But they're simple, they're easy to wear, you can wear them anywhere. Best hat. Anything to say about them? Broken hats. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
what that is, you know? See, so for me, it's like, it's really two dope brands that like collaborating together. And I mean, like, as I say, man, like, these guys are so in touch with what's going on in the street, and it's so hard not to be part of what they're doing. And yeah, they, I like their collaboration, it's really dope. Like, I don't know, man. It's just really dope. Yeah. It's a clear. Yeah. So it's really dope. I really wanna it. like, yeah. It's a dope. Like. collaboration between the Stratme team and um, the Dope Store. So we have the people here and um, we have Uma Kosonke and we have um, Anita but we see Uma Kosonke all the time so excellent. <laughs> Anita I want to talk to you. Um, tell me a bit about this initiative. Tell me a bit about just how this whole process came about. How did you guys get together with Dope Store and say, okay, you know, we're going to work together and be great? Well, I'm sure you know, do you know the story of how Stratmate started? No. Okay, Stratmate started when Castro had, <laughs> Castro had this bucket hat that I absolutely despised. Okay. And so instead of burning it... Is it the leather one? No, no, it was... I got the leather one. No, no, the leather one, the leather one's what came from this. Oh. He had this bucket hat that I hated. Okay. And so instead of burning it, I made him one that was better. Something that I would appreciate. Okay. And that was a print and leather reversible. Okay. And so that's how Stratmate started. Completely organically. We've been doing it for about two years, but very, very small, very intimate. Why the name Stratmate? Because that's so uh, ratchet. <laughs> like, it guys, it's Stratmate is like that girl you just don't want to vibe with, you don't want to mess with. Like, we, we <laughs> used to take a bit of a, a a bit of a lighter yeah, yeah. tone to start me where basically it's it's you know that person who's on the streets yeah. they hustle they yes. they know the streets the streets is in their blood and uh, how did you how did you let that concept kind of like merge with the actual like shape of the bucket hat itself well i mean if you think about a bucket hat's a classic okay, yeah, to yeah. the german streets just streets in south africa bucket hats are yeah. The one, the only. Yeah. Sporty. Yeah. Sporty. Oh, he wants his two minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> two seconds. Yeah. Sporties are. They, there's nowhere else in the world that has a relationship yeah. to the sporty the way yeah. South Africa has. And so there, you know, it's it's a it's it's referencing the history of South African street, yeah. street culture. And that's also, you know, a brand like Dope Store been around for like five years now. Yeah. Being involved with a brand like Dope Store is just exciting for us because it's like. Also, again, tapping into that street street culture, tapping into that streetwear history, yeah. and that's why I mean, working with Scott has been amazing. Yeah. And it's he brings so much of that that business acumen when it yeah. comes to street yeah. culture. That but Alpha, you know Alpha, I mean? Alpha. So that okay. people can understand why we yeah. do the things that we do. Okay. So Alpha, you are the creative director of this whole thing that we are here here celebrating today. You are did you did the the, the lookbook? The lookbook. Yeah. How has it been working with? Uh, do, was it your first time working with? Them? Yes. Okay. And how was it? How did they find you? How did um, you find them? Um, we've been friends for a while, yeah. and uh, we really wanted to do something, some collaboration. <laughs> yeah. And I'm really into Japanese culture and futuristic yeah, neo culture, so I really want to mix yeah. up the culture with what I like. Yeah. And create some kind of interesting, interesting story. Yeah. So then we just got together, shot till the morning, and yeah. <laughs> 